Algeria is bracing for widespread protests as demonstrators await confirmation on whether or not the country's president, Abdelaziz Bouteflika, will indeed seek a fifth term. Crowds turned out in the capital Algiers and other towns, calling on the 82-year-old incumbent to drop his plan to run again. Bouteflika has been in power since 1999 and is reportedly in poor health. Rallies demanding his resignation began 10 days ago, and they've gained momentum ahead of Sunday's midnight deadline for contenders to officially register their candidacy. Well, with me in the studio now for more on this is DW's Bashir Amroun and Algerian jo uh, journalist Bashir. Thanks uh, for being here. So, as we just mentioned, the deadline for candidates to register for Algeria's presidential polls in April is tonight. Do you think Bouteflika is going to run again? Mm -hmm. Well, according to Algerian constitutional experts, the candidates need to go in person to the uh, Constitutional Council and announce they will run. And as we know, Bouteflika is in Switzerland, in Geneva, in, uh, and he's very unwell and receiving uh, medical treatment there. So the only possibility, in my opinion, is that they break the Constitution and uh, uh, announce his candidature uh, uh, without uh, requiring him to, to do it uh, in person. Uh, in my opinion also, there are three possible scenarios for today. The first one is, as we talked now, that the regime puts uh, Bouteflika in the race and announces his candidature today before midnight. And that will be very risky because the protesters will gain strength and the situation could escalate in the, uh, in the coming days. The second scenario is that uh, and it's a scenario which is very unlikely that the regime uh, don't put Bouteflika further as a candidate, as their candidate, but that will require that they have another candidate uh, which is prepared secretly and they will put him into the race the, the next days. And the third uh, scenario, which is very unlikely in my opinion, is that um, the regime announces or the uh, uh, Constitutional Council announced that Bouteflika cannot uh, work as a, president's, uh, as a president because of his health. And uh, in that case, the president of the Council, of the Constitutional Council, will take over the power uh, for the next two and a half months and he will prepare uh, other uh, um, elections. And that scenario is uh, well fitting for the regime because they can win time and prepare their own candidates another time. Well, you mentioned Bouteflika is in Geneva um, getting medical care. He's 82 years old. I mean, we've, we've seen he's wheelchair bound. Um, is he even capable of doing another term? Uh, of course not. Well, Bouteflika was not even able to, to be sworn in before five years as, as a president. So according to the constitution of Algeria, he is not a legitimate uh, president because he didn't make his uh, sworn in. So where the constitution respected in Algeria, uh, he won't be in office now. Well, if he does not run, I mean, you say it's not likely, but let's say he doesn't run again. What will happen to this protest movement? Well, for a big part of the protesters, I think they will go, they will return to their homes because they think this is the utmost with the what they can reach in this situation in Algeria. But there will be a hard core of protesters uh, who will think they will request further a, a regime change in Algeria. And it will be very crucial how big their number could be in the next days. And of course, if there is no blood shed. All right, DW's Bashir Amrun, we really appreciate all your insights. Thank you.